Hello everyone and welcome to Fableheim and our first look at Carrion, an alpha version sneak peek build released with the Steam Midsummer demo drop that happened like almost a week ago now. So a lot of these are going to be going away very soon, but um, I wanted to make sure that I played a few of them on the channel, the ones that I found interesting, just to gauge interest in the game themselves and what everyone wanted to see moving forward, because we're not always going to be playing Erratus. But much like Erratus, Carrion is a reverse role game. Typically, you play the hero, valiantly save the people, and slay the accursed creatures. And of course, in a horror game, you usually play as a survivor. But in this horror game, my friends, we are the enemy. We are an amorphous blob, a creature of unknown origin that gets to devour the world. <laughs> So I figured it was quite appropriate to begin our charades into the hold right mouse button to grab objects. Yank the mouse to interact with them. Hello. I figured it was quite appropriate <laughs> to begin our escapade into the Steam demos with um, a reverse roll game. And we get to eat people. It's also a very loud game. So I figured I have to uh, say a few things. As I mentioned when I was reading, this is an alpha version, so things are subject to change, etc, etc. And there's not a whole lot of options at the moment. I think up here I can't go. There aren't a whole lot of options at the moment. In fact, there are no options. So um, the sound is just something I had to increase or decrease as a whole. So sorry if some parts are really loud and some parts are really quiet. It was really loud by default, so it's way down there. <laughs> but um, I played a little bit just to make sure I knew what I was doing. And I think I have an idea of the objective of the game. So uh, let me tell you what I know. Although, of course, again, subject change. We are this amorphous creature. These little things appear to be like checkpoints that you can reload from. And obviously, you can see it made me bigger, stronger, as our grip on the facility grows. And basically, we're here to eat people. And we get powers and stuff. Wait, don't I have a power right now? No. Oh, yeah, and um, you aren't invincible. You can't be shot. I do have a power. It's in our bottom right. So, uh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> we, uh, recover our HP, which is at the top of the screen, and grow stronger by feasting on the flesh of those who dare to, uh, oppose us. What am I shooting at them? I have no idea. This, like, it's like a bone spike. Very appropriate coming from a necromancer. <laughs> I forgot about that. Can I kill that? Nope. It's okay. We'll just, um... <clears throat> we pinned a human to it. <laughs> we'll just ignore that right quick. Go this way. I never finished... I didn't finish the demo. I just... Ow, 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 ow. I just wanted to make sure that it, uh... Would work. And that I knew what I was doing. Oh. This doesn't look healthy for me. Also, as we grow stronger, we get larger. So, um... Screw you. So you actually become a larger target for the humans. Look at me, ripping it apart. As uh, time goes on, come to me. Come to me. You know what this game actually reminds me of? It reminds me of Alien Isolation. Which is going to be very strange. But it's because you're, like, crawling through vents and stuff. And my biggest fear playing that game, I never finished it because it scared the ever-living daylights out of me, was um, an alien popping into a vent. Is this going to open that door? Yep, okay. Um, <clears throat> no. Well. That didn't go well, did it? No. Get out of here. I like how you can fling things. That's my favorite part about this game. Just like tossing stuff all over the place. And you can, of course, beat humans with other humans. We have grown large again. Look at us. We're literally a walking target. I can't break this, by the way. I think that's the power that we... The next power we can get. The game does say in its... um. Steam description. There's not much description, but in the description that there is, they say that there is much power 
uh, well, more powers that you can evolve into getting. Is this where I get the power? Yep. So more powers like this. This is the only power I think that's in the demo. At least as far as I played through. So um, we'll see if there's more. But as you can see, we have now a second health bar. And we're now super large. So we're now an even larger target for all of this, the filthy humans. But it allows us to dash forward and break through the unbreakable wooden barricades. Which how I can rip these things apart but not break wooden barricades is a bit beyond me. But you know what? Don't ask. Never question game logic. It's not supposed to make sense. Hello! No. Kind of just throwing humans around. <laughs> nope. That's really strong. Hello. We actually are lose have lost quite a bit of health. Which is probably my fault. So I should take this opportunity. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> See? Now I'm really tiny. I should take this opportunity, I'm actually about to die, I think, to uh, eat some fools. Huh, he's still attached to me, huh? There, I'll eat him. Wait, I can't reach that? Sometimes it's a little deceptive to tell you what you can and cannot reach. Eat this, please. Thank you. I must grow strong so I can have my revenge. They described it as retribution, which seems to be appropriate here. Just eating all of the human bodies. <laughs> they grow up so fast. This does seem a little tedious, though. I kind of wish the eating part happened faster. There we go. We're back to full health. Full double health. Whoop. Hi. No. Let's see. What do we need to do? Go this way. There's no map or anything. So, um... Oh, and in the water, we disperse like this so we can get through these little things, but otherwise, they're in the way. So, what does this do? Oh. Nifty. I remember that place because that's where all the blood is. Wait a minute. That's a little vague. Well, let's go find it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, they don't, they didn't make this level too comp complicated. Where am I going? This is where. This thing is growing for something. Oh, we're back at the beginning. That's right. And then we go this way. I remember. I remember the layout. Oh. Boy. Fire is not good. What did I just do? What? Do that again. Oh, there's a secret passage here. Oh. Well, I keep messing up the same way, so... You know what they say about insanity. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different result. That time, we achieved our different results. Now where am I going? Smack. Smack. Oh, we're back in this room. No. I don't know why I broke that. I don't think I had to. I just don't like it. Oh, more of these. And there's two of them! Great. What's better than one? Two. The water is rising. I bet because I have to go this way. Aha! Puzzle solving. So my plan, I do have a plan, is to grab one and toss it at the other one. No. I can hold on to it too. Well, that didn't go very well. That's fine. Smack, smack. <laughs> I think this is the door that opened. That was fun. I told you, that's my favorite part about this, is just throwing things into things. Hello! That was very anticlimactic. I'm in full health, so I don't really need to eat these. What's happening? Oh, I'm growing. Again. <laughs> There's no powers here, though. So that's unfortunate. Okay. I am incredibly large. 
They described the monster as an amorphous creature of unknown origin, which I guess is kind of what I am. Amorphous and of unknown origin. I'm so glad you noticed. Oh, that's our other checkpoint. Okay. Um... So now that I've boasted about not being lost... Ow! What? Oh, I forgot about the turret. Danger! The turret's shield is operative and may fry in cautious maintainers with sin seconds. Cool. Where am I going? I think I'm trying to head back to the beginning, right? Beginning-ish? Oh, what the heck? Whoa! Did I find a secret? Hello. No, 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 I found a secret, I think. Look at this. Hold on. I need to get rid of some troublesome folks first. Is this supposed to be like an Easter egg for the, um... I see you clever sods. An Easter egg for like the developers, because look. Phobia Game Studio Headquarters. Butcher. Released. Carrion. Release date. <sighs> Feeding the employees is not allowed. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now I know that... Now get back to work. Wait, what does this say? Happy Halloween! Now get back to work! I know that game dev... Uh, like our crunch is no serious, no laughing matter. But still, good Easter egg. Where the heck am I? Shoot everything that moves. Okay, and does not appear human. That's an important stipulation. If I had just cut that off, I'm going around. That would be a very dangerous principle. Ah, oh, here we are. Hello. This could... What could go wrong? Oh. Thank you for playing. Remember to add Carrion to your wish list on Steam. So yeah, that was a sneak peek. This is probably going to be the shortest of all of our videos because this was just, as I mentioned, alpha version sneak peek. And uh, it is available for pre-order right now, but their release date is 2020, so they don't really have a tentative release, well, a definitive release date, not even a tentative release date. But um, hopefully it comes out soon because I want to play more. That was fun. That was fun. As I mentioned, this will probably be the shortest one. Next up, we have a game that is a homage to JRPGs, which one of my favorite genres. That one is going to last a little bit longer. So I you look forward to it. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know down below if you enjoyed Carrion. And if you would like to see it, whenever it comes out. Okay. Bye-bye.